AJ Styles is a dude that fought all around the world and was the best everywhere he went. He's easily one of the best wrestlers I ever seen in the ring. He could have a banger with anyone. He's really the Shawn Michaels of this generation. And in 2016, we saw him go to WWE and he completed one of the greatest rookie years of all time. But during that legendary run, I hated it. I hated everything about this guy. I hated the way he walked, the way he talked, and the way he dressed. I hated him more than Kendrick Cage Drake. And I'ma tell y'all exactly why. I hated AJ Styles' debut year. So in 2014, a lot started to happen that made me not want to watch the company anymore. First, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, CM Punk left the WWE. Then my favorite group at the time, The Shield broke up, and that really hurt me cause those was my guys. So after that, I started to become on and off with the shows cause too much was going on. But then of course, the infamous Survivor Series 14 happened, and I fell in love with WWE for that night. But they didn't even pull the trigger on Ziggler after that iconic performance. So I just stopped watching wrestling. It was done. Bro, I miss a lot. I miss this banger, the heist of the century, AJ Lee's last match ever, Cena's US Championship run, all of the NXT call-ups, and the women's evolution. But the most important thing for this video that I missed was AJ Styles' debut. He shocked everyone and debuted at the Royal Rumble in 2016. And this was the beginning of a special run. In his first feuds, fans got to see him cook with Chris Jericho and Roman Reigns. They let Styles cook it up with two legends. And he had so many bangers so fast, which really helped him become an instant fan favorite. But I never got to see all of that. In 2016, I missed more than half the year of the WWE. Right before the 2016 draft, I had a few friends in my camp talk to me about wrestling, how WWE is tough and how the draft is about to come up and I should watch it. So to be honest, the whole draft seemed fun and I never got to see one before, so I just gave it a chance <laughs> and I enjoyed it. There were so many new faces, wrestlers I had never seen in my time period, even wrestlers I had never seen before. It felt like I stopped watching wrestling for a few years, but it was only just a year and a half. So much changed, and WWE really got better. So after the draft, I started to watch the shows on and off again. I wasn't fully locked in yet, but SummerSlam 16 was coming up, and I couldn't wait to watch it. SummerSlam 16 is such an important event for me, because it was the first pay-per-view that I got to watch live, since I came back to wrestling. There were so many matches that I was excited to see. From Randy vs Brock for the first time ever, and even Rollins vs Balor for the Universal Championship. But the match I was most excited to see was John Cena vs AJ Styles. Growing up, bro, John Cena was always my guy. He was always my favorite wrestler. Never Give Up was a lifestyle for me, and it still is thanks to Cena. So I needed to see this match. For AJ Styles though, I didn't really know him, but once they showed the promo package, he was cancelled. I was seeing my GOAT John Cena get jumped and disrespected. Bro, he was talking about beat up John Cena, and he was just having the time of his life doing Cena dirty. So I was ready for revenge. I was ready for Super Cena to pull up this night. Cena came out and the crowd was really booing him. Yo, I was mad confused. Almost everyone was saying he sucks and I couldn't believe it. I was only 11 so I was concerned about all of that. I remember watching this match live on the phone and this was the first one I really watched in a while. The crowd was super hot and this match was so special. We had Cena pulling off moves I'd never seen him do in my life and AJ was doing moves I'd never seen a wrestler do. Cena and AJ were pulling everything out of their bags, and this was a match that made me fall in love with WWE again. But this dude AJ wasn't playing, he was kicking out of everything. Like kicking out of a super AA is insane, like. He had me and Cena shook. He hit Cena with a Styles Clash, and then a phenomenal forearm, and he beat John Cena again. After the match, Cena left his armband in the middle of the ring, and I thought Cena was gone. 
So AJ Styles became my biggest op that day. After AJ's big win, he was more disrespectful than anyone. He started wearing Cena's armband, and then he started dissing my other man's Dolph Ziggler. Yo, y'all know I love Ziggler, bro. And this dude was out here coming for all my guys, Pauls. After he was done with Ziggler, Styles wanted some gold. So now he was after Dean Ambrose, my favorite SHIELD member, and one of my favorite wrestlers at this time. But AJ had to ruin all of that. He wanted the WWE Championship. So at Backlash 2016, we saw AJ take the belt from Ambrose. Nine months since his WWE debut, he was already the WWE Champion. The champ that runs the camp. The face that ran the place. But for me, he was the person that beat all of my favorite wrestlers. AJ's next opponent was going to be Dean Ambrose and a returning John Cena at no mercy. But of course, he retained the belt. Then we saw a few with James Ellsworth, the dude with no chin. Ellsworth fought AJ three times, and he beat him in every match that they had. One was with the best special guest referee, Dean Ambrose. The second one was by DQ, and the third one was a ladder match for a WWE contract. So younger me loved all of this. It was mad entertaining, and AJ was taking L's. What else did I need in life? Well, at Survivor Series 16, one of my favorite 5 on 5 matches ever, thanks to AJ, we got the Shield's first reunion in years. This is a moment I'll never forget, cause this made me so happy. I always wanted the Shield to reunite, and for it to be a reunion where they beat up AJ Styles, bro, that was a lottery. I got to see them hit the triple power bomb on AJ through the announcer's table, and that made my day. For the rest of 2016, Styles defended the WWE Championship and he retained it. It didn't matter who he was fighting, for sure he was going to give us a banger and he was going to get the win with it. And at that time, I still didn't like him, but I definitely started to respect him. At that time, he was the best wrestler in the world in my book. At Royal Rumble 2017, we were getting AJ vs Cena one last time for the WWE Championship. AJ wanted to go 3-0 against Cena, and Cena wanted to tie Ric Flair's record. So this match had all the stakes. The promo package for this match brought so much hype, and their last classic made everyone want to see this again. Everyone wanted to see them cook, and they didn't disappoint. They ran it back, and they gave us another banger. Possibly better than their other matches that they had. Those two just had so much chemistry together, and this match was great. And it ended perfectly. John Cena beat Styles and tied Ric Flair's record. And bro, I was so happy. I gotta give props to where it's due. AJ Styles had one of the greatest rookie years in the WWE. Even though he was my op for a lot of that time, he became someone I started to love to hate. He became someone I just loved to watch wrestle. So the beef with me and AJ ended at Royal Rumble 2017. And today... He's one of my favorite in-ring wrestlers of all time and one of the biggest villains of my childhood. Peace.